Hi, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll take a look at how we can create a AWS user profile. And you'll most likely need that if you want to connect uh, from your CLI or programmatically um, to any AWS service from your local machine. Uh, so let's take a look. Before we can actually set that up, we'll need to have the AWS CLI um, installed. So let's take a look at that. If we go over to docs, at amazon.com the CLI you should see the instructions for different machines I'm on a Mac so I've already gone through this process and to check if you're running which version so if I go to my command line or terminal and if I type which AWS and this will show me the location and if I type AWS dash dash version I should see which version I'm running now I already have it set up but let's say I try to execute a AWS CLI command uh, like S3 LS uh, you will probably get this message and this goes for if you try to make any type of programmatic calls to AWS services so we need to have that credential or profile set up so let's go over to our AWS account once you have already installed the CLI and we're gonna go through this very quickly so we want to go to IAM if it's not showing on your console you can search and open up your IAM and let's go to users and this is very easy I've already got a few created so let's add a new user and we'll call this test user and here you can choose if you want to give that uh, user programmatic access or access to the console and the console is what we're logged in visually right now uh, for this example and for most times you want to give them just programmatic access so let's click that up and let's Hit next and I have already got a few groups uh, and the groups allow us to add multiple permission so let's actually create a new group so you can see the process so we're gonna create a group and we're gonna call this test user group and here I can add multiple permissions to this group and then assign the group to the user so let's give administrator access and let's think of another few services that we may need I'm going to also give S3 full access and this you can lock this down uh, as much as you want but this kind of shows you the the process itself so let's go ahead and create group and here we have a group we're going to assign the user to test group I have multiple groups here with different permission level so let's go to tag and we'll just go to review so now we have the group and the user so let's create user and this will give us a access key ID and a secret now you should keep this private and as at the end of this video I'll delete this but this is what we need to copy and paste you can also download this as a CSV file for later reference so now that we have this information let's go over to our command line and I'm gonna let me clear this now one thing I like to do since I use multiple AWS account is I like to create a named profile and this is a very nifty way to switch between multiple profile so let's type AWS configure if I can spell dash dash profile and the name of the profile so we're gonna call this test user profile and you get the gist you can create multiple profiles and switch between them based on uh, which account you want to log in and it's going to prompt me for the access key and secret so let's copy this and let's grab this also and my default region is us east one uh, you can and you can get this from here this is global setting but uh, whatever location you're in this is sometimes optional but let's set this to US East 1 and I'm gonna leave the default ver default format that should be de by default JSON and now we have a profile so let's see again so if we issue your AWS S3 LS command should it work And so our profile has been created, but we aren't using it, right? So we need to export. And that's one thing you have to do when you have a named profile. You need to tell uh, your CLI, 
a terminal which profile you want to use. So we're going to say export AWS profile equal the name of the profile that we just created, test user profile. And if you want to check if this profile is active, you can issue another AWS uh, command. So this AWS SDS, and we're going to get caller identity. And this should show us some information about the account. So it is active. So now if we do a AWS S3 or any other AWS uh, command, we should be able to list. So now I can get all my buckets. So that's how it is. So let's say you have another profile. We just need to, and you want to switch, we just need to export. So we would do a export AWS profile equal next profile. And that's just my optional name right here. But do you get the gist? And that's how easy it is. And now once we have these profile or CLI commands set up, we can actually start writing code or writing running scripts locally. Thanks for watching.